First team up, the Houston Texans. 11-5 last year. They won the division. To win the division this year, they are plus 300. Their strength of schedule projected this year is the number one most difficult schedule in the NFL. Their turnover margin last year, they were second in the NFL at plus 13. They were a top five team as far as turnover luck is concerned. If you want to know more about that, go check out Warren Sharp, get any, any number of analytics sites. That will explain what turnover luck is. Over under eight and a half this year. They are plus 110 to go over, minus 130 to go under. As far as yards per play, they were number 17 in the league last year, averaged 5.5 yards per play. On defense, they were number 12, averaged giving up 5.4 yards per play. Head coach is Bill O'Brien. He calls the plays for the offense. Their offense coordinator is Tim Kelly. He was the tight ends coach. He got bumped up. Uh, they signed quarterback A.J. McCarron as a backup, and they signed left tackle Matt Khalil. On defense, they've got Romeo, uh, Romeo Cornell back as defense coordinator. They signed cornerback Bradley Roby. They signed uh, free safety to Sean Gibson. Uh, they drafted cornerback Lonnie Johnson Jr. from Kentucky. They are a projected favorite in seven games. Now, the defense got a little bit younger. They lost Kareem Jackson, a few other guys. Uh, offense, still running with Deshaun Jackson. Still got, uh, uh, you know, the kid from Texas. What, what, what was his name? Uh, who, am I, who am I thinking? I don't know who you're talking about. I know they've got the Hopkins. Back. Oh, Lamar Miller. No, no, no. Uh, uh, well, they got. They Foreman. just traded for Duke Johnson. No, they let Foreman go. They just traded for Duke Johnson. Did they? Yep. Foreman's wow. now with the Colts. How crazy is that? Okay. That, this is nuts. I, I should I should really do no, that's cool. last minute well, stuff. All this happened last week. And so, so, yeah. We're and recording I, I this on August 11th. Before. August so. 11th, yes. So, I, with, with the number one strength of schedule projected, and the fact that turnover regression will occur, this is a pretty average team. They're a projected favorite in seven games. I have them eight and eight. I have them eight and eight as well. Okay, okay. Tell me, tell me what you think about them. I mean, what's like JJ Watt? He'll stay on the field this year, I would imagine, right? Uh, maybe. Um, I mean, I, I'll tell you. I mean, Clowney is their best rusher. I mean, Watt gets yeah. all the praise and all the glory and all the credit. Um, he's the face of the team, but but. I think their best defensive player is Clowney. Um, yes. Honey Badger, they got younger. Um, I think this defense is going to be good. I think Romeo Cornell. Ha the reason they are so good at, at turnover margin, I know a lot of it is luck in, in the stats that, that, that are out there, but, but they're a ball hawking team. Romeo Cornell has a very aggressive style of defense that he calls, yes. and it works. It works really well for him. I think adding offensively Duke Johnson because Lamar Miller is not – I think Lamar Miller is the definition of eight and eight. I think he's the definition of a <laughs> very. He's not going to fumble the ball. He's he's not going to lead the league in rushing. Duke Johnson gives them a level of explosiveness that Deontay Foreman never could. Um, he's he's worlds better. They've improved there. Um, Hopkins stay healthy. I think he's going to be a stud. Hey, I, yeah, I, he always is. And then they got uh, Kiki and um, um, Fuller. I think the offense is going to be good. Bill O'Brien, yeah, he, he might be predictable. The offensive line, still really bad. But I think this team is going to win some games. I think they're going to be 8-8. Eight and eight. I don't know that they're going to win 11 again, but I think 8-8 eight and eight might be good enough in the AFC to compete for a wild card. It puts them in the running. It might yeah. not win a wild card spot, but it's going to put them in the running for it. Yeah, I can understand that. I can understand that. Uh, let's move on from the Texans 